Daddy, my teacher says that we're being threatened by climate change. How come? Yes, Jasmine. Guyana has 215,000 square kilometers of almost untouched forests and savannas. 430 kilometers of South American coastland meeting the Atlantic Ocean. Our vast forests capture more greenhouse gases than our population produces, making Guyana a net sink for global greenhouse gases. And yet, due to our geography and how we have settled on this land, we are very vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Wow. Yes. Our ancestors created a network of canals and dams to reclaim land from the ocean, creating our coastline. Our river and sea defenses make it possible to live and work on this coastline, which is actually 0.5 to 0.7 meters below sea level. Most of us live near the coastline, and we have held the ocean at bay with sea walls to the north, while we also have created reservoirs to the south to store water for agriculture. But Despite our resilience, climate change can threaten our lives and livelihoods. With sea levels continuing to rise, our hazardous position along the coastline could become very, very catastrophic. If we live away from the sea, we will be safe then, Daddy? No, 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 no. Not really, Jasmine. While those along the coast live under the threat of flood, those living in Guyana's interior also face threats from nature and have become overwhelmed by the new extremes of weather brought on by climate change. You see, Jasmine, atmospheric temperatures are expected to continue to rise significantly. While rainfall patterns fluctuate widely, we are already feeling those impacts. You see, back in April 2015, we experienced a drought so severe that drinking water had to be trucked into the hinterland regions. And two years later, increased rainfall caused severe flooding in the hinterland regions. In some cases, water remained on the land for weeks. Really? Yes. You see, the thing is it, Jasmine, we live in a situation where our resilience will be put to the test. Even though as a country we have started to address both the slow-moving and rapid onsets of the climate crisis, we cannot afford to let our guard down. The effects of climate change are wide-reaching. Floods, droughts, change in rainfall patterns, rising ocean levels. These are just some of the impacts we may face in the future. So, Daddy, is the government going to protect us? Well, actually, Jasmine, our government has taken action across various sectors to address climate change. You see, the Sea Defense Resilience Project will improve and reconstruct 5.4 kilometers of sea and river defenses in Guyana's coastal regions, taking into account storm surges and rising sea level. Okay. Yes. And also, the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority is undertaking an upgrade of the country's drainage and irrigation networks. You see, Jazzy, Guyana Civil Defense Commission, Guyana Water Incorporated, and the Brazilian Army collaborated to drill wells in eight vulnerable communities in the Rupununi, helping communities adapt to the increased intensity of droughts. And also, the Ministry of Agriculture and Partners of the Americas are supporting climate smart agriculture throughout Guyana employing practices that focus on sustainability in water and land usage to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Great, that's good news. And also, the Forest Carbon Partnership Facilities Red Plus project involved key stakeholders from indigenous and forest-dependent communities to contribute to the design of a national Red Plus strategy, including climate change measures to reduce emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. The Office of Climate Change is in the process of developing the country's national adaptation plan and national climate change policy. And finally, Jasmine, the government has developed the Green State Development Strategy, a guide for utilizing revenues gained from the extractive industries, including oil and gas and mining, to fuel the rapid and wide adaptation of green technologies that will drive national development and standards of living while respecting the natural environment and minimizing greenhouse gas emissions. You see, while the government is taking these key steps, there are many, many more things that we can do together to contribute to our country's resilience. For instance, we can reduce the impacts of droughts and floods by helping manage the water supply and by storing and using the available water wisely. We can also maintain drainage by keeping drains, trenches and canals clear of litter and waste. 
We can build our homes, businesses, and livestock on higher ground to protect them from floods and rising water levels. That's a big job, Daddy. Everybody has to do their share. Yes, Jasmine. Everybody has to do their share by working together. We can ensure a resilient and strong Guyana for years to come. To find out about the NGOs and government agencies that are building climate resilience in your community, call the Office of Climate Change hotline. 223-0975 or email us at info.occ at motp.gov.gy.